Okay, right. now let me get your reaction to this. Has a massive scoliosis that's been cooking up for lots and lots of years. Uh, oh, oh! Beautiful. Last time I looked at that x ray, I remember seeing 18 fractures out of 24 vertebrae in the spine. Just bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. They were all old fractures. Up, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down. Good. <gasps> Ow! Yep. Oh, yes, right. ma'am. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Good movement there. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, I don't know what to say about chiropractors that do that. So uh, the latest study, this was basically a video of someone manually treating severe scoliosis, degenerative scoliosis in an elderly frail patient. The incidence of vertebral spine fractures is more than 90% in a 20-year follow-up for the National uh, Women's Study. That video should never be seen or ever done or attempted by anyone. That individual, if he is not a medically licensed practitioner, that is dangerous. If that individual is making a diagnosis of an x-ray that is outside the scope of that practitioner, I would check the license and all your scope of practice before you do or attempt anything like this. Secondly, if you plan on seeing anyone that does this, check that person's license, find out if they are truly qualified to make diagnoses and make interventions based on those diagnoses. That lady has a 90% chance of having pre-existing spinal fractures and new fractures. And all I can say is that I have seen, and there are literature published reports of spine fractures being caused by chiropractic manipulation. Specifically, patients have gone quadriplegic from excessive cervical spine manipulations, especially when you're talking about the frail elderly. The frail elderly, especially women, are a special interest population. What that means is they are sensitive and they are to be treated with particular care. That did not look like care to me. That looked like someone stepping outside of their scope of practice. I am not pleased with seeing that video and I worry that there were fractures encountered because of that. I do not know that patient. I do not know that chiropractor, but when I see that, I'm concerned. The data speaks for itself. You can't argue with science. You can't argue with logic. You can't argue with anatomy and you can't argue with outcomes and uh, fractures and spinal cord injuries. So when you see that video, just be cautious. I'm just saying, be careful. So what I don't know is, was this actually someone truly manipulating or was this just a video, a fake video? It's a lot of fake videos out there and it's a little disturbing, but all I can say is that just be careful. So just look up the data yourself and talk to medical professionals, okay? Massage therapists, manipulators, physical therapists, chiropractors, they don't have a medical license to practice and diagnose injuries. There's more to the human body and the human frame than just the physical outward manifestation. Be very careful who you see, review the profile, look at the clinical evidence out there, do your own research. That video scares me because you have a, an elderly frail lady that's on a bed being manipulated that already has a 90% chance of spinal fractures and a high, very high risk of another fracture that's being physically manipulated. Be careful, okay? Stay safe out there.